Okay, modeling population growth using exponential functions. So the current student population in Cincinnati is 2,200. Kind of identify these as we go through. And the population decreases, big keyword there, at a rate of 9.8% each year. Each year. What will the student population be in three years? All right, so the first thing we wanna do is write this exponential growth model for the future population, P of X, where X is in years. So I didn't see some keywords, law of decay, exponential law, law of uninhibited growth, or continuous or continuously. All right, because we didn't see any of those keywords, we're not gonna utilize um, the continuous compound interest formula. Instead, this is just the compound interest formula. So just to be clear here, we're gonna be utilized A of T equals P times one plus R over N raised to the N times T. And I guess they've told us to use P of X instead of um, A of T. So P of X will represent our future amount here. All right, next up, let's fill in the information that we just picked out from the words. All right, the current population, what we start with is 2200. So that's gonna go in for P, so 2200 here. And it decreases at a rate of 9.8% each year. All right, so 9.8%, 0.098. That's the typical go two decimal places to the left. However, this is decreasing, so big keywords here decreasing, decreasing, decreasing. That means it's getting smaller. That means our rate has to be negative. All right, and this is each year. So n is gonna be one. And I guess in our model, let's be careful that x represents our number of years and this is p of x. So as we get this set up, um, let's use x as our variable, the number of years instead of time. All right, a little bit confusing, renaming our function p of x using the variable X instead of T, but basically hopefully we can follow along where everything's getting filled in here. So we can say P of X, that goes in on the left-hand side and P for population, not for principal, but um, my principal, what we start with is 2200. So that's gonna go in for the P on the right-hand side. Then inside our parentheses, we can say one plus a negative or minus 0 0.098 divided by one raised to the one times X power. So a little bit of simplifying down, getting a little bit better answer here. Let's go ahead and say 2200. And then what's on the inside of our parentheses, we can reduce this down, right? Dividing by one, you're just gonna be left with this number. One minus 0 0.098 is gonna be what, 0. 902, and then that's raised to the one times x, or just x power. So here's our function that models this situation. Next, we're gonna know what's that population gonna be in three years. So they tell us a value for our time, which they've told us is x. So we're gonna fill in three into our model. So p of three is 2200 times 0 0.902 raised to the third power which is really just put it in your calculator. And this will be to the nearest whole person, 1,615 um, students. All right, I hope this helps out as we're trying to model um, population growth or uh, decreases, like this one was the decrease. Be careful that keyword decreases really does point us towards a negative. The other thing students struggle on with this is they pick out the wrong formula basically from the beginning because we didn't see continuous or continuously or law of decay, law of exponential growth. Um, some of those keywords would point us towards the other formula because, but because they were all absent in this problem, we're going back to our trusted compound interest formula. All right, hope this helps. Good luck.